To Choi Sisters, the Korean girls talk show, with whom you can learn K culture, K pop, K language, K food, and more. Today it is a Seoul Gangnam Day and Night vlog with our fashionable and generous grandma, the best grandma ever, Choi Grandma. Aren't you excited? Let's go with Gina and Mina from Choi Sisters. Due to COVID-19, it became very hard for us to go out with our mom and grandma together. So we are going to have a quick cup of coffee at Lota Department Lounge first, and we'll have a fancy meal at Korea's famous Chinese restaurant called Mung Jung Hun at the second part of the video. This is the entrance of the lounge. And the three generations of Choi family will have some fun here privately. This is a QR check-in to record our visits for COVID-19. Do you see how nobody is here? Yes, we rented the whole place. Just kidding. Hehe. <laughs> Mina and Gina wanted to act like kids. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> they served us nice beverages and soft and sweet brownies for free service. She is touching her hair as she knows that I'm filming her. Drink your cup of coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mina is happy with a free ice cream. Now we are going to head to Bong Jung Hon, one of the hot places in Seoul these days. She said she's very shy at first, but I don't think so. <laughs> Here it is. Isn't it very fancy and luxurious? This is our private open room. Grandma says hi! Yes, now you can tell that our grandma is photogenic and not shy at all. Here is a place where they make dim sum that we will eat soon. This is the basic table setting for everyone. Salted peanuts, radish pickles, and cha sai, Chinese kimchi. As you can see the menu, there are tons of dim sum menus and Chinese dishes. It was such a hard task to choose only a few. <laughs> Here are dim sum dumplings we ordered. You can reach them by turning the round tray located at the middle of the table to where you are at. Our favorites were one with the chewy shrimps and one with the chives. Since we love shrimps, we ordered chili shrimps as well. Can you tell how much we were excited to see this? Here is our photogenic grandma. I did a quick interview with her, asking whether she would recommend this place for our foreign friends, meaning Chocos, our subscribers. She said she definitely will, as you can enjoy the best Chinese meals in Korea, even though it is a little expensive. Now, it is time for Yuringi. It is fried chicken with sweet and spicy sauce. You can feel the spice already, right? You see the peppers. Choi mommy is pouring the sauce on the top. 
。ヨミー。シューシュシュシュ If you take one to your own dish, it looks like this. Gina liked how it is so crispy that she had it three at once. <laughs> While Gina was eating, our fashionable grandma thought Gina could wear the scarf much, much better. So she fixed it for her. Can you see how much she looks better after her touch? She was so excited. Would you like some water? <laughs> We laughed so much as our grandma knows about fashion so much. Now, we ordered tang s u y u fried meat with the sweet and sour sauce. You can either choose beef or pork for this meal. Here is a fun information When Koreans eat tang s u y u with others, they ask, jingmo, pumo, meaning, do you like eating tang s u y u dipping the sauce every time? Or do you want me to pour the sauce on the top of the tang s u y u in the beginning? Gina and Mina prefer jingmo, dipping into the sauce every time. That way, tang s u y u remains more crispy as it doesn't soak up the sauce. But of course, some prefer pumo. What's your choice? As our grandma also likes jingmo, Gina gave tang s u y u to her without the sauce on it. Our mom, Choi Mami, also likes Jingbo. Here is Choi Mami with a gold ribbon on her hair. She looks so young as always. Here's Mina. Mina 2. Mina 3. <laughs> Besides that, we ordered a cold vegetable dish called Yangjang Pi that you can eat with spicy Asian mustard sauce. And soy sauce based vegetables. Our last dish was jjampong and jjajangmyeon. Usually, just like everyone, Koreans eat noodles after eating all the main dishes when they go to a Chinese restaurant. This is jjajangmyeon, the black noodle. And here you see jjampong. It had so much seafood in it that we found it very price worthy. And caution, it's a little spicy. Before we left, We took a picture as this was a rare opportunity to be on a date like this together these days. This is a little Chinese garden they had outside. And this is how the restaurant looks like. Did you enjoy our Seoul vlog today? We wanted to share a little bit of Seoul, Gangnam, with you as it is hard to travel these days, right? Hope you felt like you were together with us in Korea. If you liked it, Please press like and subscribe. Thank you. Make choices your choice. Bye.